Praise the Lord. Uh, what a wonderful celebration we are having here uh, of what God has been doing all these 13 years. And I understand um, each one of you had a blessed time worshipping the Lord along with uh, our whole team uh, giving glory and honor to Jesus Christ. And I, uh, I, and I, and it's a joy for me uh, to come to your homes this morning in this platform and to celebrate along with you the victory that God, Jesus, has given to each one of us. So this morning, um, for a small little um, storytelling, I thought I would uh, pick up a very familiar story uh, we all know uh, from the Word of God. Uh, for the ones who are having your Bibles with you, uh, I would be talking from John's Gospel chapter number 6 and Mark's Gospel chapter number 6. Uh, interestingly, both these uh, chapters have the same story. Mark's Gospel chapter number 6 and John's Gospel chapter number 6. And the topic for today's top, uh, the uh, sermon or the story that we are going to hear is a loaf in the box. A loaf uh, in the box. Many times we have heard the story of Jesus uh, performing this beautiful miracle of feeding the 5,000. But little alone, uh, we talk about the loaf uh, that was in the box. And today I want to picture each one of us as a loaf in the box. Come on. I want you to feel that you are a loaf in the box and uh, this message is for me this message is for Bethel church this message is for each one of you as we are hearing the word of God and uh, we are going to meditate on what God is giving uh, for us Jesus in his uh, ministry uh, on this particular day he was talking to multitudes of people and it was getting late and people were hungry. The word of God says uh, Jesus had compassion over the people and Jesus wanted to feed them and he inquires about uh, what sort of food is there with them and Bible says like this Jesus asked this question to test the disciples and uh, all of a sudden Andrew comes up uh, uh, with a beautiful statement and says uh, Jesus I, I found a boy who is having five loaves and two fish in his lunch box and uh, today uh, this is where I'm going to start I'm giving uh, I'm giving words into the mouth of this loaf and uh, uh, we are giving life to this loaf and uh, we are going to study what the Holy Spirit is wanting us to understand. When the loaf got life, the loaf would be talking to the boy, boy, what are you doing? Your mom has uh, packed it for you. It is, it is your need. It is, this food is for you. Uh, you are not going to give it to the hands of anybody. It's only you. You need to be eating it. You need to be enjoying it. I am for you. Sometimes uh, we who are born in a particular family as uh, a son or a daughter uh, or a member of a church or uh, a member of a team or a member of uh, any ministry that we belong to. We feel that we are limited for only that family. We are limited for only that ministry. We are only limited to that church. We are limited only for that plan that you and I see because we are in the box. And when we are in the box, we are limited. Today, I want to make you each one of us understand when you are in a box, in you are in a box setting, we feel that we are limited. And many times the devil wants us to be in that box. The devil doesn't want us to come out of the box. And if at all we come out of the box, we just feed the boy. But today the Holy Spirit is wanting us to understand we are not going to feed just the boy. We are going into somebody's hand, the hand 
hand who has created the universe praise the lord and who is bringing the uh, five loaves uh, and two fish and giving it to the hands of jesus today you and i understand we are in the hands of jesus praise the lord uh, we were in a box uh, we were in somebody's family we were the son and daughter of uh, a or b we were a member of such and such church uh, we are living in such and such country this should be not our story for the very end uh, our story should be we need to go from that box uh, into the hands of jesus praise the lord uh, i went uh, from that box into the hands of jesus uh, when i was 10 years old uh, praise the lord uh, i was given into the hands of the lord uh, i just gave myself into the hands of jesus uh, when i was 10 years old uh, sometimes uh, when you are even 10 uh, you can understand the plans that jesus uh, has for you some of you take a bit longer than 10 years or 20 years or 30 years uh, but the beauty is uh, jesus is waiting uh, so that you get into the hands of jesus uh, from the box uh, into the hands of jesus what a journey of the loaf uh, the loaf would have never ever thought uh, one day would come uh, he will get into the hands uh, of the master who created heaven and the earth praise the lord uh, hallelujah do you know that uh, many times you would never have thought uh, you would be serving the lord in the capacity that you are uh, i i'll tell you bethel never thought uh, when we were uh, starting this journey where we are standing now uh, it would never have come into my mind uh, i would never have thought about the families that will come uh, i would never have thought that the musicians that would come along with me i would never have thought uh, about the teams that we saw a couple of minutes ago that will come along with me when me and my wife started this ministry 13 years back uh, i never saw anything but one thing that we saw was uh, we are not going to work all by ourselves in the box uh, we are going into the hands of jesus praise the lord uh, we surrendered ourselves today i'll tell you the story of bethel uh, is a beautiful story that many many hundreds of people are seeing and rejoicing and glorifying the lord uh, not only here in new zealand i'll tell you around the world uh, people are praying for bethel uh, the influence that we have shared towards uh, many countries uh, are unfathomable uh, the missions that we have blessed over the years uh, the churches that we have built over the years uh, the families that we have been blessing many 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 parts of the world uh, i'll tell you this is what bethel stands out for uh, 13 years back i never thought about it uh, but today when i stand i know it all changed because uh, we were in the hands of jesus praise the lord uh, if it was a story of bethel it can be your personal story as well uh, it can be your family story it can be your ministry story if somebody is watching me from some part of the world uh, feeling god i am still in this box uh, i don't have anybody to take me into the hands of jesus uh, the loaf never walked towards jesus uh, but it was picked up uh, by andrew and taken to the hands of jesus today i want to tell you god is there who is the same yesterday today and forever uh, if the holy spirit can work uh, through andrew and bring the loaf into the hands of jesus today i would want to say an angel of the lord is standing beside you my brother an angel of the lord is standing beside you my sister you are not going to remain and die in the box uh, or you just feed the boy but your travel is going to be brilliant you are going to travel into the hands of jesus the holy spirit is going to guide your steps uh, take you and bring you into the hands of jesus praise the lord what happens to the loaf uh, in the hands of jesus uh, jesus lifts the loaf and give thanks to the lord praise the lord uh, the journey from the box uh, into the hands of jesus uh, and the next thing is uh, you are being lifted up uh, in front of people 
and people are looking at you till now nobody looked at you now people are looking with a hope people are looking with surprising eyes people are looking at a staring eyes looking at the loaf that has been lifted up by the hands of Jesus and is thanking the Lord for your life praise the Lord hallelujah today when you are in the hands of the Jesus you will be lifted up you will be exalted you will be presented before the throne room of God and people will start thanking the Lord for your life do you want the journey today praise the Lord people around me are thanking the Lord for Bethel many families call me up and say pastor we are overseas probably we are we have to migrated to different countries one thing that we miss very badly is Bethel and the families that we were together the joy that we were having uh, when we were worshiping the Lord together one thing that we miss uh, we may be having money we may be having houses we may be having things around us but we miss one thing uh, that we are not able to praise the Lord as we used to do it in Bethel you know why it happened all all about the story is uh, Jesus lifts us up praise the Lord uh, it's not just the church I'll tell you you are going to be lifted up in your community you are going to be lifted up in your family you are going to be lifted up in front of your enemies praise the Lord uh, Jesus says like this uh, hallelujah hallelujah when uh, I have compassion I am not only feeding the ones uh, who just heard me properly uh, I'm not just going to feed the ones uh, who who were not uh, who were not skeptical no Jesus is feeding everybody the ones uh, who were bad good uh, but the ones who were sitting around Jesus uh, are going to be blessed by the loaf praise the Lord uh, hallelujah Psalm number 23 says like this uh, I will prepare a table for you before the enemies praise the Lord when the Lord lifts you up my brother when the Lord lifts you up my sister you will be an honor uh, hallelujah Lord lifted up Mordecai uh, in the book of Esther uh, in front of all the people Mordecai was lifted up because uh, it was the hand of God that was lifting up Mordecai today I believe bro oh, hallelujah hallelujah I believe that God is lifting up you in the season uh, 2020 may be a hard year for you 2020 may be a painful year that we have gone by uh, 2020 may be a year uh, that we thought nobody is going to lift you up uh, today I want to let you know you are going to be lifted up uh, in the time of Jesus hallelujah and your time is going to come very soon my brother your time is going to come very soon my sister he is going to lift you up everybody likes that part of the ministry now the loaf in the hands of Jesus Jesus breaks it who is breaking the loaf Jesus is breaking the loaf Sometimes we don't like that process of breaking. Sometimes we all like to be lifted up. I love to be lifted up. I love to be exalted probably I'm telling myself. Uh, so everybody likes to be lifted up uh, but certain moments uh, the loaf comes to be a point uh, where it is broken. Do you like this breaking experience? Uh, honestly I don't like the breaking experience. Uh, Bethel went through some breaking experiences uh, some hard times. Uh, I I could not sleep uh, me and my wife uh, we were uh, we were shedding our tears uh, in our bedroom uh, our pillows have become wet uh, breaking experience is a hard experience uh, nobody should go through that uh, but once Jesus takes you into his hands uh, it is not just a process of lifting you up sometimes uh, breakings happen uh, and the loaf was broken Bible says uh, in Mark's God Gospel chapter number 6 he broke the bread uh, John never talks about it uh, John says he God blessed the bread and he gave it to the people and people ate it uh, but Mark makes a dramatic expression of it uh, and he says Jesus broke the bread uh, are you ready to be broken not by anybody else uh, if Jesus breaks uh, he knows the 
plans why he breaks you up uh, hallelujah he will never allow the devil to break you up uh, but jesus breaks you up uh, he breaks you up so that uh, you cannot be judged that low of uh, once the breaking happens uh, jesus gives it to the disciples uh, so that the rest of the people are going to be blessed uh, i don't want to dwell in the breaking this morning as we are on a celebration mode uh, i don't want to be preaching on breaking your lives uh, hallelujah but i'll tell you you are going not to be just one uh, you are going to multiply if breaking is allowing us to multiply if breaking is allowing us to grow if breaking is allowing us to grow into a greater level uh, if breaking is allowing us uh, to go into a new moment uh, i prefer to be broken rather to remain in the box uh, praise the lord uh, remaining in the box uh, you are not multiplying but once you're broken uh, jesus breaks uh, and he multiplies it praise the lord uh, hallelujah when the breakings happen uh, i was not happy none of us were happy but i will tell you when you stand 13 years in this journey you only have stories to give glory to the name of jesus praise the lord you may be broken financially today don't worry don't worry there is a multiplication going to happen there is an exaltation that is going to happen you may be you may be broken in your body you may be broken in your relationship you may be broken in your situation people are feeling from the box you traveled into the hands of Jesus now you are in a broken state some of you would have come out of a non christian family given your life to Jesus and uh, in front of people you are broken but wait 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 the story of the loaf is not over after the breaking uh, there is a multiplication praise the lord today today now is the time that god is giving us to multiply and we are going to rejoice uh, and glorify the name of the lord almighty hallelujah 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 god will not stop in the process of multiplication and you know what once the bread was distributed the loaf from the box just went into the hands of jesus and from there it went to the hands of the disciples and from there it went into the masses who were sitting 50 and 100 a big gathering sitting on the grasslands uh, and enjoying praise the lord today the story of the loaf is uh, i was supposed to be a blessing only for my family i was supposed to be a blessing only for this boy today now 5000 people 5000 people are hearing my story. story are enjoying me hallelujah a christian life is for many not only for me not only for my family when we are broken in the hands of jesus we are going to be shared to hundreds and thousands of people hallelujah my life has been broken and praise god bethel is enjoying my brokenness hallelujah the brokenness of my family has become the joy of bethel hallelujah the joy the br- brokenness of bethel hallelujah has become the joy of new zealand today i want to pray that you and i will become a blessing there the story continues everyone ate and then jesus says now disciples you are not going to waste any of this loaf you are going to pick it up bible says everybody ate everybody got satisfied and they picked 12 baskets 12 baskets again and so they carried it today i want to let you know even when the disciples forgot to carry the baskets on their journey jesus not only fills us he makes us overflow praise the lord he fills my cup not just for that 5000 people he makes my cup overflow in your generation you will be blessed 
even when you are gone your name will be overflown in the community do you want that to happen when you are gone your children will talk about you your grandchildren will talk about you your church will talk about you even when you are migrating from one country to another the people will feel hey that person was such a blessing into my life do you want to be that part of the story of not just filling the at the time not just filling that 5000 but uh, that process of filling even the 12 baskets that were empty praise the lord today are you a loaf in the box or are you a loaf in the hands of jesus as we are finishing off to a word of prayer i pray that none of us will remain the same as a loaf in the box just like a candle burning down just for one purpose giving light just as john the baptist says i decrease and he increase i decrease and jesus increase the box would have become empty but the grasslands were full the grasslands were full your destination is going to change your position is going to change you are going to become the pride today after 2000 odd years ago i here in auckland i am preaching about that loaf if that loaf was in the box i would never have been preaching about it today people are going to mix songs and stories about you about the faithfulness that god has been doing in and through your life i'm just going to pray for you gracious lord heavenly father i thank you for this beautiful sunday morning that you gave to us thank you for the word that came to me thank you jesus for the revelation that has come through the word of god and i want to release blessing upon everybody who heard this word if they are in a broken situation let them know that it was you who broke when you break you have a plan a plan not for our destruction but for our construction thank you master bless you lord i thank you for every person who made this sunday morning such a blessed sunday in every aspect of their life thank you lord bless you lord in jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 <music>